The start of something new in Italy, where Europe's longest coronavirus lockdown is beginning to ease Monday. Cafes and restaurants now open for takeout. Manufacturing and construction resuming. Parks available for exercise at a safe physical distance, while playgrounds remain closed. And Italians wearing face masks can visit relatives, but not friends, and large family gatherings are not allowed. That's just a taste of what life is like after a nearly two-month strict shutdown in the hard-hit country with one of the world's highest COVID-19 death tolls. While some 4.5 million people are expected to return to work, many businesses and schools still remain closed. It's hoped the staggered reopening will restart the economy without triggering a second wave. It's a strategy we're seeing around the world, and Italy is not alone in lifting some restrictions Monday. More countries are entering a new cautious phase. Spain now allowing small businesses like hair salons with footprints of under 400 square meters to reopen by appointment only and with no more than one client in a shop per employee. Masks are mandatory here on public transportation. In Greece, bookstores and beaches opening Monday. Schools are set to follow next week. Portugal beginning a three-phase plan with different sectors coming back online every 15 days. Lebanon allowing restaurants to reopen with reduced capacity. New Zealand and Australia, they're considering a travel bubble, opening their borders potentially to just each other. But a reminder that the pandemic is far from over. Japan's prime minister extending the country's state of emergency until the end of the month, saying they're still seeing a considerable number of new infections. And in Russia, the number of new confirmed cases rising Monday by more than 10,000 for a second day in a row, bringing the known total to more than 145,000. The country's second largest city, St. Petersburg, now turning off the lights at some 500 sites as a cost-saving measure as the crisis here widens. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.